Hey guys, it's your girl. Welcome back to Seven Days to Die with Jareth. That guy right there. That guy right there. See him? See him? See him? See him? Raise your other hand. There he is! <laughs> um, we're back in our dedicated server. And you guys remember what we did? We went over to that town that's right over that hill. Over this. Wait, 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 wait. Over that, uh, over that hill right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to stop rambling and let you do his thing so that way he can get his video started. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's time to come to attention. It's Jared here. Another episode of Seven Days to Die Alpha 16. Yep. You've caught some of the end ramblings of Shankara. Yep. So, yes, we're going to do a little bit more running around, looting, tooting, and shooting, whatever it may be. Um, Actually, we need to get started on our defenses here because it's already day three. Like I said, looting, tooting, and shooting, whatever it may be. Um, Did we get a wrench? No, we didn't. Um, um. So, um, I could easily go over to my little clay patch over here and start digging up clay or you can come over and di dig up the clay and I can do the stone which do you, which do you want It doesn't do? matter. Well, come on over. I'm coming over. I'm coming over. I think I'm I think I'm heading the right place. I don't know. Follow me, my love. Follow me. Uh huh. I was following markers. This is the clay patch right here. And there is a line already dug. You just have to hunt for it. All the way around? Or just. No, it's partially around. Just follow the edge. You'll find it. There. It's partially around. It's not all the way around. It ends like right here. Okay. Now we need to get to doing some stone. Stone, 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 stone. And now what I like to do is I like, when I'm doing a clay, I like to, uh, Find the edge of it and follow it. Mm-hmm. Did we have iron in the forge? Some, yes. Forged iron? Iron. Iron. I don't know if we uh converted it over yet. Mm hmm. Oh, I hate when it happens. This is the boring part, guys. But you know us. We don't edit out anything. Whether you like it, whether you hate it. Unfortunately, you're stuck with it. And so are we because we've got to play it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I mean, once we learn, once we actually learn how to edit. I've had people might... tell us that we're going to come over and we're going to show you how to do this. And then they don't show up. Yeah, that's our life. <laughs> Besides, he's better at digging than I am. How am I better? You're better at it. You can keep stuff straight. I can't. Okay. Well, I can't. It's the truth. I mean... Have you looked at that clay patch? Well, the clay patch isn't straight to begin with, so... I know, but... Mm. <sighs> Ooh. 
Ooh, I've got some beer. You know what? I'm gonna use one of my beers. The heck with it. I could, but what's the sense? Why waste it? I'd rather keep it for running. I have two more, so I'm cool with it. Yeah, but like I'm in a situation where I'm just digging, so. I'm gonna have to stop it for either for stamina or to repair to the um shovel, so Wow, this looks like it might be a big clay pit. So I did good, yay. You know what they say, the bigger they are, the more you have to dig. <laughs> Funny. Yeah, I know. Bad joke. Really, really bad joke. I don't plan on dying anymore. But if I do, oh well. <sighs> I thought I just heard a board. <clears throat> Don't say that. Well, I heard something. I'm looking. I don't see anything. Well, yeah, I mean, I heard it right over here by the clay pit, so. I don't know. I did hear a squeal like kind of thing. I heard like that grumble. <laughs> uh. Unfortunately, for those who are starting out seven days to die, this is a big... The daily grind. The, yeah, this is a big part of the game. You've got to grind and grind and grind and grind and grind for your resources. If you don't grind, good luck with the seventh day horde. You know, I mean, there's also, you have to loot and stuff like that, too. Yeah. So. And we did a lot of looting the other day. We got a lot of stuff. Which, yeah. And. Which reminds me, we need to go back and harvest that potato field. Yes. Yes, we do. You're absolutely right. But we don't have to do it today. The potato field will be there. I know. But if we go harvest it. And maybe turn some of them back into seeds and replant. Yes, I know. But we don't have to do that today. No. My thing is, it's day three. We only have four days left to the seventh day horde. We have got to start putting up some kind of defense. And even though it's on um, two hour days... Sometimes that's just not enough. If you watched our experimental, um, we had just gotten finished. Or, I just heard it. I swear, I just heard it. Like a honk honk. Yeah. And I was over here when I first heard it. So. Now the. Oh, oh my phone just scared me. <laughs> that happens to me all the time. 
Now, the only good thing about boars is that they're not aggressive. Until you mess with them. Yep. So. Which happened the last time we recorded on here. Because a boar killed me. Yep. I swear I'm not seeing it, but I heard it. Mm-hmm. Ah. <sighs> But the daily grind, it's... Real. Yes, it's very real. Um, you have to do it in order to build up a defense. If you don't have a defense for the Seventh-day Horde, there's a good chance you're going to get your butt handed to you. Now, if you're good with weapons, like, um, say, a club or a, a knife or a bone shiv... That's really good. It, uh, if you're good with a bow, that's really good. Um, if you play Walking Dead style, like, like we, we do, like we do, you may have a strong chance of surviving the Seventh Day Horde just with those few things: um, a bow, a club, a bladed weapon. Um, but if you play uh, with the zombies running at night, say. You got quiet. Huh? Yeah, I just moved my, my mic. Okay. Um, s say if you play with the zombies running at night, then you're going to have a very much harder time of it. Um, we like Walking Dead style. We like the way that place for us um where they walk at night and they walk during the day sorry do i play like the movie 28 days or 28 days later no although we you know we we, we do play with friends on a server where they walk in during the day and they run at night so excuse me for wiping my nose on camera um but yeah we don't we play like that with our friends because we know our friends are going to back us up. But when it's just the two of us, we slow it down. The reason being, that's the way we like it when it's just us two. Um, and everybody who we play with, I'll tell you, my, I repeat it often on the server we play on. With Miss Missy Deluxe and Coral Bear and Christina Rose and uh, Jason, Jason and Cashflow, we I repeat it on a constant basis. I'm a chicken, so <laughs> I'm it. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to find the right word. I'm a big chicken when it comes to run running zombies. How's that? Yeah. I don't even like them. Uh, but it makes the game interesting. Yes. It really does. It makes the game really interesting to play when you have running zombies and you have other people in the game that are willing to back you up. Oh, Minoza just today. Why? I don't like itchy noses. Especially when I'm recording and I've got people watching me. But. I am really, really grateful that Missy Deluxe invite us, invited us onto her server and uh, allowed us to play on her server with other uh, YouTubers, I am very, very, I feel very, very honored and privileged to do that. Thank you so much, Missy. Um, and we play, on her server, we play community style. You take a little, you give a little. And what you loot, you can keep yourself, but try to give back, and that's what we do. And I... I try my darndest to give back because why? You never knew 
when you're going to need somebody again to back you up. Especially when zombies are running. <laughs> uh, it's a fun... It, it is fun when they're running and you have people there to back you up. Yes, it, it's... It's very fun. Although it is a pain in the butt at night when they're running and you can't see them. But our horde night, oh, that was so cool. <laughs> it was very cool horde night. I loved it. I had a lot of fun our our first horde night on that server. Um, now what we're doing on Missy's server is everybody's building their own bases, but there is a commun a community base, which. Um, everybody can go to, say, if their base is overrun or s their base isn't done by the time the horde comes or, you know, s s the such, you know, um, that's a really cool thing for me because I like playing like that, um, Didn't she say there was open open lock policy too? Um, I don't know. Um, I mean it. It's not. It's not like anybody would come into uh, into. We would never go into anybody's base and steal from them. That's not cool. Yeah, I mean in this case, it's. I think um, somebody asked about it, um, just in case. Um, and because some servers are like that. Hey, you're playing on my server. I don't want locked doors. Right. Okay, fine. You know, I understand that. But at the same time, it's, you know, my place. I should be able to lock doors if I want, you know. Um, every server is going to be different. Um, in that aspect, do you... Um, oh, oh, Wandering Horde coming towards me. I see it. Where are you at? Okay. Ugh. And my philosophy is if they want to walk by, let them walk by. I mean, yeah, you want to get your experience from killing them, but this early in the game, that's a lot of them. Let them go. Yeah, because, I mean, one, I'll be honest with you, I've got 80 arrows roughly to my name. I've got 93. So. Yeah, we don't have enough to fight them off. Mm-mm. What's up, Big Daddy? What's up, Big Daddy? You coming over? Are you good? Yeah, I'm good. All right. I mean, that's the thing that we do, you know. Okay, I heard them. What did I do? I went, okay, go, go to her for backup, you know. Um, once you get a little bit further into the game, you know, where you have some better tools or uh, weapons or something like that. Hey, Wandering Horde, come over here. Early stages, it's best to go, if you're playing with someone, either have them come to you or you go to them. Of course, what I did was I went to her, one, put distance between me and the Horde, um, so that, one, they didn't pick up on me. Which one or two did, but, you know, it's easier that way. This way you don't have to worry about, you know, getting overrun. <coughs> I hate wood shovels. I really do. That cheerleader disappeared. Or stone shovels. 
Did she? She was... I don't see her buddy. Oh. Okay. Now, unfortunately, the way this clay pit is laid out, it is very difficult because it's high on one side, low on the other. Back to the ground and pound. I do have about 1,500 clay. Okay, do you want... Um, I have about 702 stone. Do you want to give me the clay and I'll start making flagstone? Or at least the cobblestone? Or yeah, cobblestone, that'll work. Alright, um, dropping. Do you see it? Got oh. it. Okay, cobble, cobble, cobble. In the making. Okay. But yeah, this is the early grind, clay, stone... To make cobblestone, so you can make flagstone, so you can upgrade it to cobblestone. Since there are, you know, I'm, a lot of people play, some don't. There is no more cobblestone frames. So, got to do what you got to do to make. Oh, we got a crazy Ivan. Where is he? Uh, to the northeast, but he's walking away. I'm wondering if he was the tail end of that wandering horde. I don't see him. Well, he's a little past northeast. He's... You can't see him? No. <sighs> oh! No, but, but I you... see a crawler. Yeah, but I see a crazy Ivan. <laughs> And it looks like he's heading, it, like he changed his mind and is heading this way. But who knows? They walk in circles nowadays. And at some point, we are going to have to find a new location. Yes. Um. Did you? You ran over there and took care of business, didn't you? Yes, I did. <sighs> Yes, it's a very annoying, you know, omnidirectional headset, and because of the game sound coming in through the headset... Oh, wow! What? The horde stopped. Did it? It is all over here, dude. All on the side of the mountain. Oh, my goodness. Where? Watch out behind you. Stay off my stone. What's up, Big Daddy? Airdrop. Ah, oh, nice time for my bow to say no. And it's going to rain. And they're too... F oh. Back off, ho. Back off, ho. I don't like you. <laughs> but do you see how many of them there are? Oh my gosh. That whole horde stopped right on this hill. Oh, we got some canned food off of this guy. There you go. And some sham sandwiches off the uh, other one. She's not breaking down fast enough. There she goes. Yeah. 
What's up, Big Daddy? Wow, you come up the hill, and it gets clearer. Oh. Thanks, Mr. Cactus. Got some pe pears off of that one. Yes, if you haven't played recently, food, wildlife food is hard to come by. So it seems like they've been putting it on the zombies to help out. Where'd the other one go? Oh, well. Oh, nope, that's not it. <sighs> Oh, he was digging a hole. Oh! Oh, brass off of her. Casings, that is. Up the hill. Where's my Pikachu? Oh, Give you me. and that Pikachu. Give me back my Pikachu. Her head's... I got her in other places. Ooh, first aid kit. Ooh, good. Schematic. Read it. I am. Incoming. Now that works. Okay. Need to get out of this little biome. I'm overheating. Yeah. Edgar! Where's Edgar? How you doing, Edgar? Cash and feathers. Okay. I'm back in the forest where it's raining. Yep. Incoming. Left, right. North. <gasps> it's Big Daddy. Oh. Uh. Some sham. <sighs> oh, that is so weird. What? You take two steps and you're back in the sunlight and it's clear. But if you take two steps back... You're in the dark and rain. Yup. Yup. Mm, hold on. My ear itches. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I would say technical difficulties, but they're not. No. There are difficulties, just yours. <laughs> Ooh, airdrop. How far away? Ugh. Do we really want to go far? 
No, I mean, that's a little too far away. But what I will do... <coughs> although the trader is back that way. So. I don't think we have that much to trade yet. Gonna save this with an axe. Mark it. You know what? I'm just gonna mark it. AD. What's today? What day is it? Um, today's Tuesday. No, day one, day two. Day three. It's day. Th oh. So I'm gonna mark it AD three. Just so I know. So if we you, don't you get know to how it, you take your knuckle and you rub it on your ear, and it helps with the itches. Yeah. It's not helping. Let's see. 18 points. By weapon. By tool. Do I have food on me? Uh... Hey, I can go to Sexual Tyrannosaurus 2. Yo, do you have food on you? Uh, yes, I have eight cans of chicken soup, four cans of pears. Yeah, I have some. What would you... I'll tell you what. I will give you half of that, so... Come on. I'm behind you. Okay. Ah. Okay. Drop the can, drop the can. There you go. Thank you. Yep. Good. Now what I will do is I will craft a new shovel since I can now craft a 100 shovel. We'll scrap that shovel. That'll work. So, the daily grind of clay. Now, this will go a lot better once I get, you know, mining up there and stuff like that, so. And an auger or a pickaxe. No, a uh, stone, or not a stone. Steel shovel. An iron or steel shovel. Yes. It will definitely make nice. this process. And, and the qual quantities I'll be getting be much higher. Um, I do know that when I have an iron shovel, just an iron shovel with my um, mining almost maxed out, minor 69 are maxed up, getting almost 100 a scoop, so. question is, do we want to make our permanent base in the city at a major intersection like we did before on our console game? I don't know. Or do we want to stick to... Um... Well, I'm thinking be, uh, with, with at least this, we should at least stick to outlining areas. Um close enough, but not too close so that we can at least go back to loot the area every couple of days. Because mm -hmm. uh, if we're if we're in the city, the loot won't, won't you know, won't want to respawn as mm, I think. I don't know. So. Well, on Missy's server, I found that it, it respawns and we're inside the city, so. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. Oh. Look up. Stamina, stamina gain. Search for anything coming at us. Which, nah. <laughs> Oh no, that's a cactus. Woo. Besides, I think um, on the map, if anything, on the other side of that town, mm -hmm. um, there was a building on the hillside. Okay. If, if anything, I you know like okay, we do this one up for right now just to get through day seven. Um, or, you know, use this as, you know, a temporary thing for a couple, you know, for one or two hordes. Okay, I just did something really stupid, but I didn't know you could do it. What? I accidentally hit right click on the stone. Okay. And it repaired itself. Wow. Well, I guess, yeah. I had no clue you could actually do that. Had no clue. So anyway, but that big that big house on the hill. Yeah. I'd like to see about going there. Um. Clearing it out, taking it over as a base because it's right now where we're at. We're only one meter. Well, actually, we're we're at negative one. Okay. Um, if I'm going to do what we normally do is dig down the bedrock. Yeah, I'm closer here, but I want to see if, um, what somebody else said, um, go higher <coughs> on the evol e e e evolution. elevation, elevation scale. So when you dig down the bedrock, you can keep your forges and all running 24 seven and not be disturbed by like screamers and stuff. Yeah, that's a theory that we need to test out. Yep. And I've heard that from more than one person, too. So. Yeah. Because, uh... Because right now the server we're on, um, our friend's server, we're only it's like it's Missy. maybe negative twenty. We're on Missy Deluxe's server. You can openly say her name. Just don't overuse it as a name drop. As I was saying, um, we're <laughs> only about negative twenty on the um, ele 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 elevation scale. And we're getting hordes after hordes after hordes. Now, of course, we are coming up. I think, isn't it the, the day 14 horde? Yeah. So, and all, unfortunately, I've been digging and digging and digging and digging. So. And I've been hunting and killing and hunting and killing. And, uh. Unfortunately, on that particular one. I th I know I'm in my 60s already. And I think me being so high is causing problems for everybody else. That's just how we work. Unfortunately, me and you are a team. We get... We get don't get me wrong, I do get salty over him gaining so many levels above me. And it, it's the truth, I do get salty about it. And I get salty over all the zombie kills. But, guess what? It's a team effort. Exactly. So, I can't... I don't stay salty about it because I know he's building me something to keep me safe. And I'm going out there and I'm hunting to get food and stuff so we can stay alive in this game oh 
I have a Heidi cat. <laughs> um, but with us, it's a team effort. So that's just yeah. how. Unfortunately, that's just how we roll. You and know? I think even on like a community-based server, that's how it should be. Like I made a uh, a comment the other night about, oh, I'm digging so much that. Um, I'm going to have my, um, miner and all of that maxed out so, so fast that it's going to be unreal. And they, they were like, are you offering to do all the digging? I'm like, you know, I don't mind, you know, you want me, you, you want some more digging done? I'll, I'll do more digging. It's just that in the future... I, you know, uh, I don't mind gotta, doing yeah. it with an iron or steel pickaxe. Right now, I'm working off of iron on the other game. Um, but hey, let me get access to an auger. I'll tear you a hole as deep as you want. That didn't sound right. Yeah, I know, but but guess what? Again, that's how we roll, and. Once our base is done, we will openly go out and help other people with their bases. Oh, yeah. That's not a problem. I mean, if I haven't, like, right now, I don't have it. Well, I had an overabundance of stone from all the digging I was doing. But now we're converting that into the cement. Cement and, and concrete. And, so overabundance is slowly dwindling. Yeah. Now, you know, a, a lot of people are probably going, why are they talking about in the, the, their other game when they're playing this, you know, this one? Why? Because this is a boring grind. I'd rather give you, give you something to listen to than us sitting here going, Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall, Humpty Dumpty grab some clay, you know, because that's all it is. And if, um, if we can... On one of these days where we go on to Messy Deluxe Server. You you know what I'm going over there. Why? Boulders. Iron. Oh. Uh one of these days when we go on to Messy Deluxe Server and uh, when nobody else is recording a couple episodes, we're thinking about starting another another series. It's, uh, seven days to die, of course, but uh Server fun. Server fun. Simply put, server fun. And that's exactly what it would be. It's server fun. Why? Because there's a ton of people. Well, not a ton of people. There's eight people on the server. We're all working at the same time. We're all looting at the same time. We're all hunting at the same time. And we're all helping. Oh, no, no. Each we're trying to help. I wouldn't say we're all doing it all at the same time, but we're all doing different jobs at the same time. Um, as it should be in a community, um, as it should be in the game, as far as I'm concerned. Um, and I mean, you could play this game by yourself, yeah. um, but it's I, I personally think it's more fun with friends. Yes. And believe me, I've grown to care about every last person on that server. They become so close to me. I especially love Christina. Bless her heart. Um, Cor a koala bear. Oh, he's so sweet. And Missy is. She is the epitome of the of a lady. In my opinion. She is the epitome of the word lady. So, with that all said, uh, we are at 46 minutes. No, 45. I'm sorry. Yeah. Already, guys. Can you believe it? And what we've been doing for most of it is... Yakking. Yakking, digging, grinding stone. Oh, kill the small wandering horde, you know. But now you know what we're doing when we're not filming. <laughs> and, you know, we're going to, you know, 
work something out sooner or later. I don't know. Maybe we'll bring Christina in. Mm. She can... Or even Koala Bear or Cash or Missy. We'll see. Yeah. Right now, everybody's busy on the server doing their thing. <clears throat> Me and Missy's uh, on, on the server. She's got her own single-player Let's Play going. Exactly. Everybody's busy doing their own thing. So trying to schedule something is going to be, you mm. know... Busy at best because Missy most days she she streams and Christina is constantly uploading videos and so is Koala Bear. He's a streamer and all of them. I've watched all of them and they're absolutely fantastic. Guys, go check them out. <clears throat> Christina Rose, Missy Deluxe, bleh, Missy Deluxe, and Koala Bear. Um, I just started, we just started talking to Cashflow, so I don't, yes. I don't know if he's a streamer or not, but, yeah, I, if he has a channel, I'll check it out, and I'll let you know what I think. He sounds like a nice guy, though, he really, really does. And he showed us a picture of what he wants his base to look like. Oh my god. One that he's already built in Alpha 15. Yeah. It looks hot. I mean, everybody knows about the new booby trap. The stripper bar in the game. Well, to, to us it looks like a booby trap, but guess what? It's hot. It's it, Madonna booby trap. That's it, what it is. It, it's, it's hot. H-A-W-T. Hot. It, Ooh. You keep mentioning hot, and it's, yeah, it's like the air conditioner ain't doing nothing again. Mm, yeah. Oh, I hate heat waves. And my back is starting to seize up again. Oh. oh. Yeah, it's time for me to take my meds. So as soon as I'm done this, I'm going to go down to the clay patch. And I'm going to end off because... Well, we might as well. It's, all, it's almost 5 o'clock at night. So when and you're done there... I'm going to come over to you. Well, what I was going to say is you come over to me. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where are you? There you are. I'm just going to finish out this little section I got here, and then we can head back to the house okay, and okay. log out in the house like you, you know. Hey. Now, hopefully, now this is something that everybody is saying that hopefully uh, with Alpha 16, they will fix the one issue that everybody's complaining about, which is... If you build an underground base, that it will stop teleporting you to the surface. So, I would like that because with my ba with with our base design, I don't want to get teleported up to the pit, like what happened to Grand Spartan at one time. Okay, there you go. I'm done with it with that one little section right there. Okay. Um. I've got almost 2,900 clay. And I'm still making cobblestone rocks. So. So we're doing good. We're doing good. We're off to a great start. Now, the only thing that we're going to have to look at is ooh, bird's nest, an unlooted bird's nest. Um, is the placement of things around here? Yeah. Is, I mean, I might have enough room back here without actually having to dig out the wall. You know what I mean? But we don't want anything jumping on top. But I'm saying I might be able to, to, to place it without digging, you know, having to dig into the wall to get it to drop. You know, you know, come in. So. Okay. And with that... <clears throat> I am just going to... Oh, yes. For right now. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all in the links down below. Um, we'll see which, 
which we do on Friday, if it's going to be server fun or if it's going to be our dedicated server. We will see and you will find out come Friday. Um, and with that, I'm going to let Dougie, you know, that guy right there, subscribe to him, that guy right there. Um, to do, I'm going to let him do his outro. For all of you, wherever you are, I hope you have a grand, fantastic time, and I hope you enjoy the videos. Like she said, links are in the description below for twi Twitter, Facebook, and for me, Instagram. And for her Instagram, and we will um, look. We will, I will try and get those uh, the links for the uh, Missy Deluxe Corolla Bear um, and Christina Rose. Chris, Christina Rose, and if there's one for um, cash, cash, cash flow, um, yeah, cash flow. I will also try to get that and put that in the description. Absolutely. So with that, we will see you on the flip side and remember guys we love you to the moon and back we'll see you on friday bye bye <laughs>